Do you think Britain has exploited Jamaica or celebrated it culturally, or both? That's, um, that question's kind of ridiculous to me. I mean, Jamaica's been constantly exploited by England. Um, you know, a lot of the institutions in this country have been funded by the profits made from the slave trade. So the whole conversation about culture, it goes way beyond that. Well, when does cultural... I mean, Fiona, Fiona Compton, when does appreciation become appropriation? Where, do you, where does that line blur? Um, I think it, it's, it becomes appropriation when someone takes a culture that's not theirs without having full understanding, knowledge, or appreciating where it comes from. Is it about acknowledgement or is it about money? The end of the I day? think it's both. Because at the end of the day, we, everyone loves Jamaican culture and I, I would say Caribbean culture on a whole, right? But at the end of the day, are we really benefiting from all of this appreciation? Well, how, Donuts, how do you make sure that Jamaica does benefit? That's difficult. Um, I mean, the truth of the matter is that, you know, the real originators very rarely get to benefit and there's certainly no justice in the music business. But there's no doubt that in the last, certainly in the 21st century, Corporations have gone into overdrive to exploit black, black culture. How we can get... Without acknowledgement. Without acknowledgement and certainly without mm. financial remuneration. Um, how we get around that, I haven't the faintest idea. Fiona, do you have an idea? I, I really don't know. It's just... It's totally frustrating because I think now social media, now we have so much more of a voice. And especially when I go online, I see everyone expressing their frustrations and things like that. And the fact that you can go to Selfridges and get your hair cane road um, for £60 when that has been available in places like Hackney and Brixton mm. for £25 for years. But the fact is, is that it has been taken from us and been presented as more palatable, right? It's not to say that people don't enjoy us and love us, but why is it that they are not coming to us and going to someone else for something that we have been presenting for decades, centuries? Well, Don, let me give you an example from the music business. I mean, Sting launched a reggae album with uh, the Jamaican musician Shaggy. Was that OK or was that cultural appropriation? It wasn't so much cultural appropriation as cultural rubbish, to be quite honest. <laughs> I'll be quite honest with you. I mean, total waste of time. I don't know why either person did it. Have you heard it? <laughs> well, no, no, I can't say I have. I mean, but... I heard the single what? and I couldn't believe, oh, my God, there's a whole album as well. I mean, you know... I won't but, bother to listen to it then. I mean, but, I think the whole thing about appropriation is understanding the difference between something like Here Comes Johnny Reggae and Ghost Town. Right. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, but what, what's your answer to that on the, on the Sting point? I mean, he, he launched the album with a Jama Jamaican musician, so mm -hmm. there was acknowledgement there, wasn't there? Yes, it is. I mean, I, I haven't heard it, so I, I cannot give, like, a, a, a proper um, feedback um, concerning that. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, when you see things like, for example... Justin Bieber and his song, Sorry, which has been, it was, like, known all around the world, right? That is an example, of, to me, of cultural appropriation because he took a dancehall um, rhythm. That's the Jamaican music. Yes, he took, yeah, yeah like, a dancehall um, rhythm, and then he had the, the style, the fashion, the dancers, but none of them were uh, people of colour or Jamaican mm. or of Caribbean heritage, even the choreographer, everything. Nothing was Caribbean, but it, the, the entire presentation was of Caribbean roots, culture, music, the, the beat, everything. So that is appropriation to me. Is that when a whitewashing? I don't know. I think when it comes to art and music, it gets very blurred because I don't think anything comes out of a void. And as far as I understand it in my life, you know, culture has been used to kind of um, turn each other on and communicate with people and kind of push things forward. Um, you know, I think it's down to the individual to decide whether something is taking inspiration or it's straight up exploitation. Mm -hmm. Well, here's, a, here's an example from the last couple of days. I mean, it, there's been a lot of accusations of cultural appropriation fly around here and there. So there was an American 18-year-old who dressed up in a prom dress. Here's a picture of her. This was a Chinese outfit. There was outrage on social media. Was that justified or was she just an 18-year-old wearing a Chinese-themed dress? That's ridiculous, man. I mean, is anybody giving Beyonce grief for having blonde, straight hair? <laughs> <laughs> So you, you, that's absolutely fine Don't in your view, Don't bother me at all. I mean, if she'd done something funny with her eyes or something, was squinting at me, mm. then I take offence. That, no, it's ridiculous. Fiona, is that the same for you? Yes, I would agree. I mean, the thing is, with, with Don saying, talking about, like, Beyoncé and street hair and things like that, because, you know, there's... When people talk about cultural ap appropriation and cultural vultures and so on, people have to understand the difference between 
appropriation and assim assimilation. Because at the end of the day, people of color, we have to change our appearances, the way we talk, and, so, and, and our mannerisms and so on, in order to survive in metropolitan places like the UK, right? I mean, it's a fraught area, though, isn't it? You can understand how people sort of don't quite know where to tread sometimes on this, like mm. the, the American girl there who's... I just, feel it's, I, just, I just feel it's, if you're going to take something, a, a culture that is not yours, you need to at least take understand time to it, understand respect. it and respect the roots of where it comes from because the, the, the frustration with cultural appropriation when it comes to West Indians like us is a lot of the things that have been appropriated are things that stem from oppression that has been brought onto us by um, Britain. If you look at the roots of reggae, if you look at the roots of carnival and dirty mass and all of these things, these come from, um, are birth from oppression. They are rebellions, revolutions. And I was going to say that, you know, the whole British empire is certainly created by exploitation of other people's culture. Mm -hmm. Cup of tea, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, let's end it there on the cup of tea. Don Letts and Fiona Compton, thank you very much for thank joining me. Thank you very me. much. Thank